The Spawn film needs to be a dark, faithful, and scary adaptation of the comic book series that embraces the character's horror roots and expands the Spawn universe. The new Spawn film from Blumhouse is set to hit theaters in 2025, allegedly, because you know with Hollywood and the writer's strike, well even though the writer's strike is being over with, you just never know these days. And fans, like myself, are eager to see what the future holds for their favorite Hell Spawn. But what can make this film a success? Here are some elements from the comics, the animated series, and the 1997 film that fans loved, and some elements that Blumhouse can bring to the table to make the new Spawn film a major hit. I will also give a plot theory and what the film should be about and probably should be about at the end of the video. So when we're talking about from the comics, a faithful adaptation of the source material, fans want to see a film that stays true to the spirit of the comics with all the dark, greedy, and supernatural elements that make Spawn so unique and gangster. We also want to see a complex and relatable protagonist. Al Simmons is a complex and flawed character and fans want to see him brought to life in the way that makes them care about him. Spawn has a rich rogue gallery of villains, from Boja, Clown, to Overkill, and Billy King K, just to name a few. Fans want to see these characters brought to life in the film, and they also want to see Spawn fight them in epic battles. Now when we're talking about Spawn the animated series, the animated series did a great job of developing its characters, and fans want to see the same thing in the film. They want to see Al Simmons struggle with his new existence as Spawn, and they want to see him grow and change over the course of the film. So the animated series had a dark and atmospheric visual style that perfectly captured the tone of the comics. Fans want to see the same thing in the film. But when we're talking about the 1997 film, Michael J. White's performance as Spawn was widely praised, even though the film was cheesy, but his performance was pretty good. And fans want to see the same level of quality from Jamie Foxx in the new film. So the 1997 film used a lot of practical effects and it gave the film a unique and memorable look. Fans would also love to see the new film use practical effects whenever possible. Too much CGI and you may face the Green Lantern effect, which just doesn't sit right. So what can Blumhouse bring to the table? Blumhouse is known for making high quality horror films on a low budget. And here's a few that I will name, Paranormal Activity, the Purge, I mean, I, I personally like The Purge, Insidious, and you know that's classic too, and Get Out, how could anyone ever forget Get Out? That's just to name a few. And the last and most recent one was Megan. I personally dug that movie. Therefore, based on their history, this will allow them to make a film that is both faithful to the source material and visually stunning. Blumhouse has a track record of working with talented directors, writers, and actors such as James Wan, Jordan Peele, Mike Flanagan, and others. This is a good sign that the new Spawn film will be in good hands, and that's my personal belief. Now before I go into the plot theory for this film, don't forget to check out RatedComics.com for some really cool comics and or Rated Comics limited print exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art and support the industry. Also, Amazon link in description if you wish to purchase any spawn or any cool items to add to your collection. I would earn a small commission since the Amazon link is an affiliate link, but hey, if you're in the spawn shopping kind of mood, your support will be appreciated. Now let's get back into the content. One way to make the new spawn film a success success is to tell a story that expands the Spawn universe. This could involve introducing new characters from the comics or exploring new corners of the Spawn mythology. One possible plot for the film could be adaptation of the Spawn, the beginning storyline from the comics, which is Spawn issues 1 through 5, which we did cover in this channel. So in this storyline, Spawn is resurrected by Malboja and sent to Earth to carry out his bidding. However, Spawn rebels against Malboja and decides to fight for his own soul. We also see Spawn's growth in the arc and we did cover this in the channel. I mean, I already did mention that before. I'll put the links in the description as well as the playlist at the end of the video. So this storyline will allow the film to introduce the new characters from the Spawn comics, such as Malboja, Violator slash Clown, and Billy King K, the sadistic mofo that you will love to hate. It will also allow the film to explore the Spawn mythology in a deeper way. The new Spawn film has the potential to be a major success, but it's important for Blumhouse to get it right, and I believe they will. They need to make a film that is faithful to the source material, has a great protagonist, and introduces fans to a rogue gallery of iconic villains. They also need to focus on character development and create a dark and atmospheric visual style. No PG-13 ratings, not ah, uh, bro, we want that R. Bring me them groceries. If Blumhouse can do all these things, then the new Spawn film will be a hit with both fans and critics alike. 
In addition to the plot theorization that I mentioned earlier, here are some other things that Blumhouse could do to make the new Spawn film a success. Include easter eggs and references to the comics. Fans love seeing their favorite characters and storylines referenced in films and TV shows. Blumhouse could include some subtle easter eggs and references to the Spawn comics in the film to please the fans. By following these tips, Blumhouse can make a new Spawn film that is a success for fans and critics alike. And also, when there is a sequel and other TV shows such as a Netflix or a Spawn streaming TV show, don't be afraid to expand the Spawn universe because it is a very big universe, but we got to keep the story contained in the first film. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Also, this video is sponsored by Coffee because I do these reviews early in the morning before my kids wake up to go to school. So either link in the description or donate to the super thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.